Hello guys, my name is Monster here, and I'm going to commentate over one of my Modern Warfare 2 gameplays. Now, <coughs> I'm going to make a cough, sorry. I'm going to talk to you what I, liked about Mon Mon what I like about Modern Warfare 3, and how they've actually improved on what Treyarch have done. Now, hmm, I think they've uh, the, the, the theatre mode, they've improved that a lot. Well, I'm, I'm using it right now, and I've actually uploaded one video up to my, on, up to my channel. It's a, it's a lot better than what um, Treyarch have done. Because for Treyarch, for their videos, say if you shot a gun, the audio will just go whapping out, go <laughs> and then the audio will be out of time. But not for this, I've actually seen it, it the audio is actually spot on. Oh, that's a good double kill there, yeah. Okay, well, I think the audio is actually spot on. I actually got some improved, um, improved, ah, uh, what's it called again? Visuals, or well, well, visuals, graphics then, yeah. Improved graphics. Oh, there's a lot of customization in this game, which I really do love. Of course, um, Treyarch for Black Ops had to customize all type of avatar, um, face, paints, and a wide array of stuff you could actually put onto your, um, you know, your stuff. As I would say, it's stuff. Your guns. So that's quite good. The customization is all right. Um, guns are mainly balanced. Now I know you could say, "Oh, but the Type 95 is overpowered." I actually, I've, I've been using that gun a lot, and yes, it is very overpowered. But because it's a free burst, you would actually expect it to be overpowered anyway. So. Three bursts, it's actually quite overpowered still. Um, the, oh yeah, the gun sounds. The gun sounds are amazing. And they are quite realistic with your sniper rifle as well. At some... You see, it just sounds really, really good. Kind of crisp, as you could say. Really crisp. I, I don't know if, if they, uh, they might have, um, you know, got the proper guns for the military. And actually, put like put it in a surround sound room, fired the weapon like once or twice, and then they got the audio through that. Which is actually pretty good. I think they actually do that for quite a lot of games. <laughs> That's a bit dumb here. Um, so strike packages. I think the strike packages are actually a good invention for this. Now they may have been around like it's been kill streak, like the kill streaks <clears throat> for f previous games. Just being if you get these kills, you will get this kill streak after seven kills. But now, you actually, you actually, you know, reward you for playing the team player. Now I know that picking up dog tags, you don't get a kill right, because that would be a bit overpowered. If you, if you pick up like ten dog tags, then you've got you like one of your highest kill streaks. So what they've done for domination, if you capture a flag, I think that gives you a point towards your kill streak. Also, if you did a flag on capture the flag, you get a kill streak, which is actually really good. Because it not only was people who kill, but people who are the team player as well. That's what I like. Was I okay? I sometimes, well, not sometimes, mostly play the team guy. I like like to go over and get all of the uh, uh, flags. I like to kill people, of course. So I don't. I like to run around. I like to capture the flag a lot. So this helps actually help me get more kill streaks and also kill a lot of people as well. So everyone's happy in the end. The, pres the prestige shop, which is actually got the, the prestige shop is where if you've prestiged in Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and um, Call of Duty Black Ops, you get four prestige tokens. I have got, I've I've used one to get double XP for my w weapon proficiency. Ah, uh, ragdoll effects are cool. Um, Oh, was I? Yeah, I've got. I, I did the double weapon proficiency, but I downloaded the elite, the free one, um, and you get two hours double XP. So I thought I may as well get two hours double XP for my, for my weapon proficiency. So I did it, and it's actually really good. Like, I think they've got um, unlock. Oh uh, yeah, unlock two new um, titles and emblems. Don't get it. It's really crap. Um, double XP for two hours, double weapon fish proficiency XP, and oh, what's the other one again? Ah, oh, I forgot the other one. But there are others where if when you, when you, when you prestige once, you, you actually um, oh, you actually 
can unlock gear. So say if you like certain weapons, like the Type 95, for example, and you prestige, you want to keep that gun. You prestige and you use that to, you know, get your gun, basically. Um, how long have we got left? Oh, no, okay, um, weapon, we weapon proficiencies are quite good. They are amazing. I mean, they got like kick, which reduces recoil. They've got um, like penetration, which increases the uh, bullet damage. Um, and um, two two attachments is now a uh, proficiency. I don't know if that's any good or not. I mean, as a perk, it was good because then it, it limited people. So say if they wanted two attachments, that means that they couldn't have say um, marathon or a uh, ghost, for example. And they've also got um, uh, that reduced sway. If you get shot, you won't from it. Oh, what's this there? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, if you get shot, you won't um, reduce the accuracy as much. Which I actually like that. Was I get shot a lot, and when you shoot people, you always aim upwards above the head. Like, damn, I was shooting him from the balls, and you get shot, and you fight. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. I can say that. Um, yeah, boost the control. Now I saw on this live stream that um, elite, where you can actually um, see your own stats. But actually, for this, um, they have that for their own um, systems. So, say someone's getting an insane amount of points every day and is ranking up too fast, they can check their gameplays, for example, and see if they're boosting or not. And then, if they're, if they're boosting, they will either de rank them, not let them gain points for like a week or something, not let them be part of the leaderboard for like a, a month, um, even take away all their ranks. For, or. Um, ban them from online altogether, which is actually quite good, because I know in Modern Warfare 2 it was a really big kerfuffle uh, where people were always boosting on it. <clears throat> and then Black Ops, they actually, this went really good because they stopped people using the tactical insert on their free throw, which is actually really good, but they've mung it back now. I think they said on the live stream that they don't want to punish people who actually are using it for what it really should be used for, but eh. I, lo I liked it, and I think they should have taken it away, but I mean, I don't use it that much. I like it, but I don't use it that much, so, well, you know. Elite. Elite is a good, a good, you know, per not per a good thing to the game, because people who actually like to use it, and do clan stuff, is actually really good. You don't really see it anyway. Uh, uh well. Okay, say really. So thanks for watching this, and I will see you later. Goodbye.